In this video, we will be tying a green caddis pupa. The hook I have in the vise is a size 14 caddis type hook with a 3.3 millimeter bead. The thread we will be using is a 70 denier UTC in black. I already um, have the bead installed. It's a tungsten black bead. We'll start that thread right behind the bead. And then we'll wrap back <clears throat> well into the bend of the hook. And the material we'll be using for the body is a green hairband. It's like a latex hairband. And basically you just cut that. And then we'll tie that in at the back. Let's see. I'm going to pull it tight as I'm tying it in. I'm going to spin my thread counterclockwise to flatten it out. And then what we want to do is create a nice tapered body. Once you're happy with the taper on that body, and you're going to take that material, stretch it out, pulling it tight, and begin wrapping. And as you wrap up, Towards the front, you kind of relieve tension. Using that black thread, you can see through it, and it kind of gives that natural two-tone look. So I barely have any tension on the material now, because I don't want it as thin up towards the front. So when I reach the front of the hook, I'll tie that off, and then I'll pull it tight to trim it. And that excess will fall right in behind the bead. 
Now we're going to dub a collar on this and for that we'll be using a dark gray beaver dubbing. It's a beaver dubbing plus. It has a little bit of sparkly antron in it. And you just want to dub a thin noodle, about a two inch noodle. You don't want much dubbing on it. It's going to create a sparse collar. So then we'll wrap that dubbing around. Like so. And then we'll come in and with our whip finishing tool, put a whip finish in. Pull it tight, trim your thread. Now I like to take my Velcro and pull some of that collar out. Give that a nice buggy appearance. And you can trim any of the stuff that is kind of picked out too long. But I like it to look really buggy. But there you have it. That's your green caddis pupa easy to tie very effective i thank you for watching this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel